Welcome in my second part of the uh, haul. I had to, uh, I was confused how, should I divide it into two? Then I thought like, okay, I think it will be a good idea. Even though you can see it's a player's pack, but it's not really, the whole thing is not from player. There are lots of stuff. Sorry, I took off one of the perfume. So that is what you saw, the perfume. Yeah, there, there's a lot of stuff, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Lots of stuff. Okay. By the way, these cost a lot. A lot. So, first thing I want to show you is the um, Claire's... By the way, it's this. The one I opened. It's UD Perfume 20ml Claire's. There's some Claire's own perfume stuff are there. Uh, so this one is orange uh, and it is, uh, they said it's supposed to be fruity and yeah, it smells fruity. This is very small, this is very handy, these are for handbags, but these are perfumes, these are not uh, UD toilet. So yeah, this is an orange, um, you know, it's, these are like only 5 pounds, so <laughs> it is, it will be very hard to decide to, you know, uh, it's it's not really fair to judge if for the size so yeah this, these are the perfumes I bought actually I'll, I thought like the orange one is fruity so I'll go for two only five pounds and I want for one aqua and this is like a smells like a very fresh aqua kind of smell so yeah but I, I really can't um, compare with any smell with this uh, a bit wood, a bit woody kind of smell, and uh, it's not written. Oh yeah, it's made in China by the way. It's written made in China. So yeah, for me it's very handy because I keep always like some perfumes in my bag. So yeah, there you go. Now, uh, okay, come to the other part. Okay, I bought this time. I was waiting for aviator glass. This is one thing I am really regretting buying, uh, but since it's a cheap one, I am just forgetting about it. If you can see, uh, how much you can see, I'm trying to show you. Okay, I guess now you can see. Um, it doesn't come with a cover, first thing. This is a gold rim, smoky gold glass it's supposed to be. But I don't see any smoky kind of effect here. Uh, this is also from Claire's. It cost me um, eight pound. It was 9.99, but it became eight pound. So I got a little bit of discount in this one, but honestly, I didn't like it. Uh, because I was expecting the lens will be a little bit lighter. Okay. <clears throat> what else from Claire's? Okay, uh, this is from, uh, no, not this one. Okay, this is from Boots, uh, and I think this is the most expensive stuff in my whole, uh, let me check, what is the price? Okay, um, please bear with me, um, how much I spent on it, because I, as far as I remember, this is the most expensive one. By the time I find it out, let me show you the stuff. This is Olay 2-in-1 Hydration and Primer for eyes. This is specially made for eyes. So, yeah, um, what I thought, like, okay, this is uh, something I wanted. Okay. Um... Why I want to talk about it, about the price, uh, I'll tell you. Because this is very expensive. I didn't expect it will be that much. And Boots Delivery cost me something around £3.5. Riverland Standard Delivery is £3.95, almost £4. So, yeah, it cost me a lot. Where the hell is that? Sorry for the language. <sighs> okay. 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 I found it. This is uh this took me 3.33 pound. 
which is pretty expensive for a primer and uh, uh, smell really disgusting by the way I didn't like that okay the pump is not really ready oops 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 oops, oops, oops. okay this said hydration let me check with the hydration sorry oh my god it's already okay I don't know how much it's gonna work but let me go through the hand even though I actually swatched my highlighter a little bit let me check how much it works it's for eye even though okay it's uh, just a uh, smell really normal ole smell okay uh, it's a light diffusing formula it said it's anti wrinkle hydration primer uh, practical smoothing okay I'll see about that because uh, I think it's working a little bit yeah difference yeah I think it what it said it's working so my four pound actually didn't go in waste so yeah that was one thing from boots I got it for okay next thing behold this is my sleek makeup uh, liquid lipstick this is matte me ultra smooth matte lip cream ladies this is something I was waiting for a really really long time uh, this is the color the birthday birthday suit yeah it's 436 birthday suit and this is the color I was really really waiting for really long yeah this is the swatch this is a mute uh, mute not pink this is like a rosy color and amazing uh, amazingly uh, matte whoever doesn't like a shine please those uh, avoid those glitters those glitters are from somewhere else this is a color which suits with every single skin so you if you're darker or color woman doesn't really matter go for it this is a really nice one by the way it cost me <laughs> this is cost this cost me five pounds by the way so if you want to buy a sleek uh, makeup I think you should buy from USA rather than UK because UK cost you more so this goes the sleek lip color this is from boots and this one I got for two by uh, one free I still didn't open it uh, this is the aquarium collection from uh, Barry M uh, nail varnish and um, this is the color in Caspian 451 this is a beautiful beautiful marble pink color if you can see uh, what I saw the swatches uh, if you put it sometimes it will show pink pink means this muted pink and then it will show uh, gold as well so I picked up this this one was free and what is it uh, okay this is a 10 ml pack and I think it cost something around three to two to three pounds something like that oh sorry no 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 this cost you uh, something around five pound I think sorry sorry it's my bad uh, I'm not sure but uh, this cost something because they were telling me to pick something from 5.9 in pound so it was something like very nearby, uh, uh, very nearby um, uh, cost. So that's what I remember. So there you go, the boot stuff. So um, now I can come. Oh, by the way, I bought something else from Claire as well. A nude lipstick. This is from, what is that? Okay. This is uh, the nude color of the said... Um, what is that language written? Ah, uh, this is the Claire lipstick. This is not matte. This is hydrating lipstick. And uh, this is the color nude. And I, if I'm not wrong, this is from a, a model. It's not Kate Moss, that's for sure. Somebody's nude color. Okay, what I saw in... Uh, <laughs> 
um, in the website, and in reality, the color is something else. But got a beautiful candy smell. By the way, I swatched it here before, and this surprised me again. By the way, uh, because uh, I felt like I think I have to uh, mix an up something like that. I have to use it as this one. This one is birthday suit, sleek, matte lip cream, and this one is this clear. This is, uh, I can wear it. I know how to carry this kind of, this is not really candy color, but it's almost near to that kind of neon color. So if you're not comfortable, don't go for it. I think I can wear it with a lip gloss, a good lip gloss. So, yeah. Okay, I'll put it back later. Now something interesting, let me show you. Oh, one uh, one more thing from Boots. Uh, okay, this is something I hated. Don't buy. Don't, don't, don't buy. Okay, this is NF7 Instant Radiance Bronzing Highlighter. This is something I wanted to buy. I think I did my mistake and I learned. This cost me 9.95 pound, almost 10 pound, and I got this crap broken. Yeah, if you can see inside, I received it absolutely broken and I actually pushed it back. The product is this much, as a highlighter it's fine. If I swatch, uh, yeah, all the glitter is from here. By the way ladies, don't use it too much because it's super duper glittery. Not only, this doesn't give you the, you know, that benefit or uh, Smashbox kind of uh, um, shine. Uh, it's not really shiny. It's basically a lot of glitter, if you can see in my hand as well. Yeah? So this is, the, this is a, br a bronze color. So if you want to use uh, as your highlighter as a bronze color, you can use this one. But be careful how much you're using it because this is like... Not glowing, glittering. So I won't say I'm liking this 10 pound stuff at all. There you go. Okay, last but not least, my stuff. I told you it's gonna be a long video, but I'm trying my level best. This is a um, Lemon Verbena Sparkling Body Mist. I bought it from Marks and Spencer. And this cost me what? Okay, this cost me 2.40 pound. Pretty cheap, 100 ml, and smells really fresh, but the uh, smell doesn't last long. Supposed to be. Only three, almost uh, 2.4 pound stuff. Okay, the most interesting stuff I wanted to show you guys, that is, um, I bought another highlighter, by the way. I, I, I needed a highlighter in pearl color. So I went for this time. Um, it cost me. It's, it's called the Twist of Chicks Highlight. This is a five gram, just as the same as the No7. Uh, this is the pearl color, but it costs less. I am a big time idiot. I could take the pink one. They have the pink color and the pearl color. So that's why I took the bronzing one. I thought the, that one will be um, a bit darker, but it it wasn't. So I took the pearl color from. This is from Autograph. Marks and Spencer, and if you can see the color properly, let me show you the magic. Okay, this is so beautiful and so elegant, by the way. Be careful when you are putting it back because this is very creamy. And trust me, benefit will fail. I can assure you, benefit will fail. You can see the difference, right? Here it's glittery and this is what you want, the healthy glow. And this is not at all coming up on my finger. But this one, the NO7, which is much more costly, it's coming up. So I would recommend if you want to go for a good highlighter for a long time, uh, this is something Autograph, uh, Marks & Spencer, get one. Great stuff. This is the pearl color again. Uh, I know there is no number or anything, but you can get one. I bought two lipsticks this time from Autograph, and I will show you this as quickly as possible. Beautiful packaging, very classy, and I want to show it as quickly as possible. 
Um, this is the color in Cocoa. And this is this color. Very classy. Again, I want to swatch. These are the matte lipsticks. This cost me each eight pounds. And trust me, these are very creamy. And it will take a little bit time to dry up in your uh, lips. And uh, this is the plum color. You know, this is the summer. Um, so I wanted to wear a little bit something. Okay, I swatched it here. So I'm swatching it again there. It's a beautiful plum color. Color pays off really well. This is a little bit, uh, I think a little bit shimmering is there, but this is a matte color, uh, but it's not fully like the sleek matte. Okay, this will uh, keep your lips moisture. You don't need to put any kind of Vaseline or chapstick. It will keep your lips a little bit moisture, but after some time it will be drying up anyway. But the main thing is I love the autograph packaging. This looks like see this looks like really expensive lipsticks when you bring it out from your bag these are the really good stuff to look at so yeah that was all for my makeup haul and I got a lot of stuff and I want to change my nail polish now and so my bottom line is uh, yeah some of the stuff were really good and some of the stuff were really bad one of them I hated this lipstick mostly hated this highlighter don't buy it no 7 um, instant radiance bronzing highlighter this is the worst thing I think instead of this one if you want really glittery stuff go for Maybelline they have the pot one that is better and I'm thinking about I, I wanted to buy the bourgeois but I don't know why I didn't buy it so yeah that's it and thank you if you have any question just post I'll reply Thank you.